hi good day welcome to today's video yes and in this video i'm just going to be explaining how to do a carousel image slide on figma basically just how you have the side slides that you have on yeah is a horizontal slide when you have on instagram and twitter and all that social media apps you just slide images to the right to the left and it just moves so that's basically what i'm going to be doing here and i'm just going to use this this screen to explain that so first of all i'm just doing it with this image right so having your work in auto layout and the rest can really affect how you work so well right now i'm not doing that i'm just making this is just a frame and i always use frames to work because you should always use frames to work exactly so now is this image is inside the frame now what i would do is to ctrl d duplicate the image right and then once i've duplicated the image let me change it so we can easily understand what's happening between two different images so we don't have clashes and then select food oh, the hungry this thing is making me hungry so let's just select random food very very nice looking food from somewhere mm, i like this one so they don't have cake they don't have cake here Mm, this one looks more like kick Ele. I'm looking for a very nice picture. Yeah, let me use this one. Yeah, it's more beautiful. So I'll just move on with this. So now I want this image and then this image to slide through. So what we should do is select both images, right? And do control alt G on your keyboard and then it adds them inside the frame. You record that frame, frame 45. That's what it's called right now. So, or what you could do if you don't know how to use the shortcut, that's control alt G is that I'll control Z this. And then so once the two frames are selected, I'm going to just frame selection. Now as they are inside here, you see. Okay, so what we'll do is select the iPhone frame, that's the phone frame or desktop frame, that whatever is inside, and then on clip content. The reason is you're on clipping content so you can see how far this frame is, right? And just probably I organize your work. So now I'm just going to put frame 45, I'm going to stretch it out. Yeah, if you don't on clip content, you can't see how this is going to stretch. And then I'm going to put this here, right? And um Looking at it now, I think I may add another image. Let's see, just duplicate this and another image to the side. Yeah. So frame 45 contains three images right now. Let me change this to, yeah, I'm going to use a shortcut for this as Ctrl Alt P automatically relaunches the last plugin that you just used. So I'm just going to add cake. Like who doesn't like cake, please? And oh my god, I'm going to use cake. So this is really really easy. Yeah, nice. So now I'm going to come back here, right? I'm going to clip my contents back. I'm going to select this image that's currently inside frame 45, and I'm going to bring it to this point here. Yes, to the end of my frame. So now after doing this, go to prototype. Then select frame 45 and give it horizontal scrolling. Then the next step is you launch your prototype. Then when you launch your prototype, I don't know why it's taking time. I don't really know why it's taking time. Ah, I need to get more space. I need more space on this PC. Yeah, so why is this black? Okay. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. So now we want to change this image and probably give this slide effect. Just drag to the left and you see it. And you see your cake. Yeah, and then you see your food and your drink. Once you just slide and you see your cake. Yeah, so that's basically how to do it. Then you can find ways to do other things as we can on the screen. But basically, that's how you can set your carousel and how it works. So thank you very much. Uh, if you had more questions, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for asking. And don't forget to subscribe and share.